Damn, summer in Sweden is actually happening, guys. Whatever, let's start the video. Hey guys, salut mes amis au calo goodbye. So recently on Reddit, there was a big thread about not being able to see your own shadow, but you can see your enemy's shadow, and it doesn't matter what global shadow quality you use. First of all, I don't think showing your own shadow makes sense because it would require a model under you as well. And this is Counter-Strike, we don't want legs. So the more interesting question is, can we use the player shadow to our advantage? The answer is yes, but not always. First of all, you can check the shadow path if you type third person in console. I don't recommend using the sun as a measurement because it's not always the same, and it's just a simple point entity which doesn't influence the lighting of the map at all. So anyway, let's focus on different examples. If you go inside a house or a building with no light coming from outside, you will not see a player's shadow. But here's a really good example. If you hold inside long doors, there's light coming from outside and the player's shadow points to the entrance. This will allow you to see the enemy before the enemy sees you. In this example, it's harder to use the shadows to your advantage because the enemy can attack from further away and from different angles. So to summarize, you can use the enemy's shadow to your advantage when you're at a close distance and when there's no shadow there from the beginning. You can also see grenades coming from just watching the shadow. On Dust 2, the best spots are long doors, middle holding lower, and double doors on B if they push close. Let's check some other maps to see how well it works. Let's start by Mirage. Sadly, I couldn't find anything useful except for when you're holding vents. The shadow comes a little bit earlier than the model. Let's go to the <clears throat> old inferno. Here's a couple good ones for a terrorist. You can see the shadow of the guy hiding behind pillars. If you're coming from boiler, you will see the shadow very early. And there's a big chance that you will see the shadow of the guy from long as well. In construction, you will see the guy's shadow coming from CT and if you're holding from B site as well. Next map, Cash. There's only one place on this map that I thought was useful. If a guy is hiding on quad, peeking the left side, you can see the shadow. Now we're moving to Train. On this map, there's pretty much nothing, except for those times when you spot a shadow from a guy on the train. But other than that, I couldn't find anything useful. Let's continue our journey and go to Cobblestone. There's four useful spots in my opinion, but they are all kind of risky. If you're holding sidewalk here, you can see the shadows pretty easily, but if they decide to avoid the light by going very close to the wall, then you're f The next one is here holding middle. The next one is here holding alley or middle. And the last one is here, which is my favorite. Next, Nuke, and sadly, I could only find one spot that was okay. Hiding in here will let you see the shadow right before they see you. Last map I have on this video, Overpass. There's four places that are interesting on this map. The first two are in bathroom, holding middle like this, and holding A long like this. The last two I thought were okay are here, and here if you decide to retake a site. So that was pretty much it. Was any of these useful to you or do you have any other tips on shadow spots? This was Maxime, stay awesome and go bananas.